Let me first start when you understand that. that the wind blind from the states and uh, other nations are consumers of, of such ideas. So this is a wonderful introductory speech uh, for some points I intend to share with the audience, uh, particularly keeping in mind that uh, I am a professor of business economics and a business consultant, which means uh, user of these concepts. Uh, I'd like to point out uh, three uh, key questions for discussion. First of all is the institutional setting and uh, this mantra about panic creation. Uh, keeping in mind that in the last 40 years, uh, uh, neoliberalism uh, penetrated uh, the intellectual uh, circles around the world in every country, in Serbia too, uh, country in transitionism, country never ended transition, uh, following the neoliberalism and neoliberalism doctrine. Uh, this is doctrine uh, which replaced uh, Keynesianism in the early 1970s with uh, so-called market fundamentalism. Uh, and uh, related policy platform the Washington Consensus uh, where the brand name for the minimal policy package for troubled economies from Latin America, but also from the Eastern and Central Europe during the 1990s. Uh, the results were not fascinating. Uh, for example, in uh, uh, countries in transition, uh, uh, economies which do not follow uh, this uh, policy advice uh, were more successful than uh, the economies which follow uh, this policy advises. The, the three principles were in place, deregulation, uh, liberalization, and privatization. Uh, so in 2008, we have a eruption of the uh, so-called uh, Great uh, Recession of 2008, and whole uh, uh, fault lines and misconceptions of this concept were erupted on the sign and now we, we are in the period of uh, so-called uh, uh, anti-national policy, policy uh, measures. Uh, regarding unconventional policy measure, measures, we, we see many, uh, many uh, irregularities uh, actually the, the coupling of, of logic from reality. At least three cases I, I like uh, pointing out. Uh, too big to fail policy. Uh, Mark uh, Frank said something about that from different perspective, but it is not uh, uh, logical to bail out uh, the banks instead to bail out the the, the debtors of uh, subjects they took the credits in the previous period. Uh, second is, is the ultra easy money, uh, which means the coupling the risk from return relationship. With ultra easy money, it means that ultra easy return. Uh, and third, Example is negative interest rate policy. Mm -hmm. uh, this policy completely destroyed fundamental concept of business economics, time, value, or money. Mm -hmm. So, with these two uh, misconceptions, you jumped in conundrum and you destroyed uh, fundamentals of the capitalism and economic ratio no uh, reasons to do nothing in the mid-term, in the long-term, particularly no reasons to make structural changes. So 
a short-term orientation to dominate, investment in uh, uh, papers, in uh, uh, instruments of the capital market uh, dominates. Uh, and from the other side you have the tremendous uh, withdrawal of the money from the corporation through uh, buyback uh, agreements uh, and other uh, other uh, financial things. So my uh, conclusion is that there is no mysteries. There are interests in management. So we must uh, change the paradigm from the uh, um, fundamentals and to define the new system uh, following my uh, strong feeling is that uh, we must follow the principle of uh, reversibility uh, because this is the only principles functioning in the nature uh, in physical system and in uh, biosphere uh, so my suggestion is uh, let's follow the idea of a circular economy instead of a linear economy and uh, uh, adjust uh, economic policy platform uh, to support uh, this idea. Also we must uh, uh, find solutions for uh, the problems which uh, neoliberal model create for us uh, in the previous period, particularly anthropogenic uh, climate change, and uh, uh, the second one important problem: uh, tremendous, tremendous concentration of wealth and income. Uh, because if you don't have a space for a reinvestment, you cannot invest in structural changes. Uh, maybe. It's uh, enough from my side for the start of uh, thinking about uh, mysteries uh, and myths. I think we, we, we must prepare ourselves to be correct because uh, correctness is a proposition for balance, a proposition balance is <coughs> the only uh, recognition for sustainability. Uh, the, the question of economic development is a question of sustainable and inclusive growth. But inclusivity means inclusivity toward the people in terms of uh, full employment and decent job and sustainability against the nature in terms of conservation of environment uh, and uh, reduction of uh, CO2 uh, emi uh, emission in the period until 2050. So in that sense, uh, technical stuff like a monetary system, we must uh, adjust and follow SDG uh, goals uh, in that in that direction.